Danielle. It's going to be wet. We have live team <laughs> coverage on the wet, wintry weather. Casey Montoya, of course, standing by. But first, let's go to Aaron Myers live from the Malibu Pier. Aaron, it still looks dry and actually quite lovely where you are. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, you two. Good morning. Yeah, we haven't seen any rain out here just yet, but it is on the way. It may be sporadic today, but it is coming. It is going to be a wet weekend. We're going to see rain on Monday as well. We are here. You can see they all step out. It's a beautiful view here right at the Malibu Pier. A little overcast, but no rain just yet. But we have seen some rain overnight. Take a look at this video from earlier, Ventura and Oxnard. The rain is expected to be sporadic today and tomorrow, and then a more intense system bringing heavier rain and possible isolated thunderstorms storms on Sunday night through Monday. We could see as much as three inches of rain drop between these series of storms. Locally, LA County Public Works will have personnel patrolling county roads, storm water facilities, and recent burn areas. Officials also want to remind people not to drive through ponded or moving water. Just 12 inches of rain can carry most cars away. And be careful if you're driving, the roads may be slippery. The LA Homeless Services Authority said due to the rain and cold weather, the augmented winter shelter program will be active until the 23rd. Now this storm is not supposed to be as intense as the ones we saw recently, which flooded some areas and brought heavy surf, but there is a high surf advisory in place for Ventura County beaches, the Malibu coast and LA County beaches until tomorrow night. There's an increased risk of drowning. Rip currents can pull swimmers and surfers out to sea. Large breaking waves can cause injury, wash people off beaches and rocks and capsize small boats near the shore. Now back here live, if you are going to be anywhere near the coast, it's obviously a good idea uh, to be an experienced swimmer if you do go into the water. As for the rain, it is coming, so grab those umbrellas, those jackets. Uh, it is going to be a wet weekend. Reporting live here in Malibu, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you both in Hollywood. All right, Aaron, thank you. Casey, you are following all of this. Yeah, I was just thinking how pretty Aaron looks today. Oh, the lighting was so she good. Does, and yes. With the beach as the background. But yeah, her eyes. Yeah, it all looks so, she matches the water. <laughs> uh, so we are we are going to be uh, experiencing elevated surf, shower activity, but I'll show you when we look at the future forecast that most of the heavy rain happens in the overnight hours. Uh, right now, the Max Doppler is showing us a little bit of shower activity moving through the area. Orange County uh, Inland Empire, you guys haven't seen it yet but we expect to see those showers moving in into the afternoon. Even if you're not seeing rain right now, you've been outside, we are seeing a lot of cloud coverage and temperatures yesterday downtown. It's been so long since I've said this, above average. We made it up to 70 degrees, so just a couple degrees above normal for this time of year. 54 currently in Riverside, it's 58 downtown, 55 for Santa Monica, 55 in Burbank and 48 in Lancaster. And right now, we're all warmer than we were this time yesterday, but the temperatures this afternoon are going to be noticeably cooler. Air quality, good for everyone.